there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go hey guys welcome back once again to niagara fire corals today i'm gonna take you guys in the sump room and uh we're gonna do some fragging but we're gonna do fragging on these two big lobos right here I have never personally fragged a Lobo. However, I'm willing to try it with you guys and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start with this big one and if all goes well, I will also do that one. We'll see what happens. Go, go. Okay guys, so I brought you into the sump room. As you can see in the green bowl there in the top right, I have the piece, the larger of those two Lobos is already out. I'm trying to irritate it a bit so it uh, closes up. I don't want to damage the tissue if I can avoid it. Uh, in this container here, I have about a liter of salt water to go in my saw. I'm just gonna add some iodine to that. And for the iodine, I'm just using the Lugals iodine. And then I also add, you know, about a cap or two of the witch hazel. I don't measure it. I just throw some in there. The reason I mix that stuff in there is to help the corals avoid from having any kind of infection after the fact and uh, hopefully it helped them recover quicker after the cutting process. So that's the mixture and I'll just pour this directly into the saw and I'll just get the saw put back together and we'll be ready to start cutting this first Lobo and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you in for a bit of a closer look here at the Lobo. So my first initial cut that I'm gonna do is gonna be right along this, this big polyp here. I'm gonna, so it'll essentially take it and it'll split it in half. Once I split that in half, this polyp in the back here, like this is the line I'll be following. I will separate this into one piece. Then we'll have the, the other large one that comes off with it. So that'll be two. And then on the other end, I'm gonna leave these two big ones here together. So that'll be number three. And then this here, pull up on the very end, I will separate. So it'll be four. So this lobo here essentially will become four, four lobos. You can see it's a decent size, like it's the size of my hand when it's closed up. You saw how big it was in the tank. It was almost the size of a football. And uh, I was running into problems where it was hitting the underside of the that cavern that it was sitting in. So I wanna, I wanna just make it a little smaller so it doesn't take up as much real estate. And uh, that's why we're cutting it today. So without further ado, this is my first Lobo, but uh, I'm pretty confident we're not going to have any issues with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting this. I'm just going to move this camera over so you guys can kind of have a decent view of what I'm doing. And I'll get to cutting. Uh, I got to I gotta plug the saw in. You know, power does help. Okay. Now, back to, without further ado, we're going to start cutting it.
So we separated it. First off, let me apologize guys. I know the saw is loud, but if you want to see this being done, it's kind of one of those things we got to deal with. You can see there, I took it into two pieces now. Um, let the saw do the cutting. Don't force it, take your time, and you shouldn't have any issues. So now I'm gonna take this single polyp off and then from there I will take the base off a little bit so they sit nice and flat and they'll be ready for uh, a new home. I'm gonna put them all back in my tank but for now anyways I want to make sure that they all heal and do well. I also want to add guys make sure you wear some gloves and I am wearing glasses. I'm, I'm just wearing the orange filter glasses but throw something over your eyes you don't want you don't want the guts and that from uh, coral flying into your eyes so just kind of putting that out there so let's get back to it and I'll get cutting again Okay, so you can see there I separated that single polyp. Now I'm just going to take the base off a bit here. Now it'll sit nice and flat. And then there's the other one. Just going to take a little bit of the base off of this one as well. There you go, that one, that one sits nicely as well. Now we'll get into this piece, and all we're gonna do, like I said earlier, is we're gonna separate this, this end polyp off, and then we'll leave the two big ones in the middle the way they are. I'm going to start out with taking some of this base off because it's almost too high for me to cut. that polyp off and we're gonna leave these two big ones as one they sit pretty good already and I'm just gonna square off this small one so it sits nicely go all 
All right, guys, that went actually really well. That wasn't tough at all to do. I'm pretty happy with the results, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the other one. We're gonna do that one too. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I got the second one out. And looking here in the back, this is kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is because they're getting up too close to the underside of that, that kind of that cavern they're sitting in or that cave structure. And it, you know, they're not getting the light they need. So I want to make them a little smaller. So this piece here, it's going to end up about the same. Sorry guys, my phone's going off. But that whole front section there, I will keep as, as one big piece. And then you can see in the back here, one, two, and three polyps. So that's how I'm gonna break this one down. It'll be broken down into four pieces as well. And then we'll get this one back in the tank. Okay guys, so as quick as I tell you guys, the plans, plans change. And I'll show you why. Here's the piece. And I originally was gonna keep, I wish I could get this into some, there we go. I was originally going to keep this whole front section as one but as you can see while well, I was removing it from the plug that it was on or the plate look here I broke it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it along this line across like I was going to but I am going to separate this one from it just in case this piece here ends up dying because I broke it I don't want it to take this I don't want to take this little one here with it so now I am going to separate that and then of course we'll still carry on with what we were going to do and take these three individual ones in the back all right so we're going to get to cutting now There's that one polyp that we wanted to take off that end. We will clean it up a bit. This is the one that we broke. It's broken right here. 
see that? Hopefully it'll still survive, but I guess time will tell. I am going to glue it down to a base, so hopefully it'll survive. And then we have these three polyps here that we're just going to separate these out. our three polyps. I'm just going to square off the bottoms now so they sit properly and then we're all done with this one. guys that's all it we fragged them both up i will get them back in the tank get them cleaned up get them back in the tank and then i'll uh, give you guys a look at them in a little while and we'll see how they're doing hey guys so here we are we're back at the main display the 270 and as you can see it's only been about an hour since i cut them but you can see they're they're getting nice and fluffy already. So I think everything's gonna turn out fine for these guys, but we'll see over the, the coming week or two if everything's okay. And then I also put a couple of the pieces over here in this corner. We, if we don't get photobombed here. two more pieces there from that larger one and then I put one more piece from the orange one as well so they all seem to be doing good so we'll see what happens all right so that's fragging a lobo I think I think we did all right for the first time. I think everything's going to be okay. I am going to keep one or two of these big ones of both. And then uh, the rest of them will go up for sale on my website because I'm obviously not going to keep four or five of each. You guys can check that out. I'll link my website in the description below. And uh, that's it for today, guys. So that's Fragging a Lobo. It wasn't that bad. So until the next time, make sure you guys take care and happy reefing.